What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint, back with an Every Omnibus So Far video. This was suggested in the comments, and I really like the idea. So this is every DC New 52 Omnibus release so far. I even threw out all the absolutes, so uh, stay tuned. Alright guys, so I got a tower of books uh, next to me here. I think there's too many books for me to like do a sky view individual book kind of thing. So this is going to be more like a checklist for people that are wanting to collect these books and a brief overview of what they collect and my thoughts on it, you know it, on the book if I read it because I've read a few of these, but a lot of these I still haven't gotten to. Uh, this first book is kind of like an honorable mention. This is Volume Three of Jeff Johns Green Lantern Run. Because these issues 0 through 20 and annual 1 that are collected at the end of this are part of the new 52. Uh, like I said, this is volume 3, so volumes 1 and 2 is pre-new 52 stuff. However, uh, Green Lantern is one of those characters that didn't get like a hard reboot. So it kind of just flowed from pre-new 52 to new 52. Either way, you need to do yourself a favor and get all three volumes of... The Jeff Johns Green Lantern Saga, the three volumes, plus you can get the Brightest Day um, Omnibus, which um, follows up Blackest Night, which is in volume two. So, like I said, I'm not going to show the artwork, you know, maybe I'll show you guys the hardcover on them, like these wraparound covers and such. Uh, the art of this, just so you know, is incredible. Really, the art for the entire New 52 is awesome, so... That's not really an issue. All right, so I don't really have these in any particular order, kind of alphabetical order, but some of it's probably out of whack. Uh, but this is the most recent New 52 Omnibus to be released just in time for the Aquaman movie. This is also Jeff Johns, his run on Aquaman, which I loved. I did a recent reads on this, which uh, if you're new to the channel is like my review of it. So uh, go to the playlist for recent reads, uh, or you could probably just search you know, Aquaman recent reads, and you'll see my review on this. Excellent run, quick, fun read, better than the movie. The movie borrows heavily from the book. And just uh, so you guys know, it does collect issues 0 through 19, 21 through 25, 23.1, and 23.2, which we'll talk about in the Villains Month book, and Justice League 15 through 17. All right, next up, we got the Batman and Robin Omnibus by Peter J. Tomasi and Patrick Gleason. Uh, I also did a recent reads on this not too long ago. I've, I've kind of been on a new 52 kit. And I had some problems with the way that DC collected the stories. I felt like it should have had Death of the Family in here, and I felt like there were some things missing. But, I mean, I still enjoyed the read. I just had a problem with how they collected it. This uh, Omni collects. See, it doesn't even tell you on the back because it doesn't want you to know how jacked up <laughs> they collected these issues, man. I guess the problem was they wanted to name it the Tomasi and Gleason Omni, and they didn't do all this stuff for uh, Death of the Family. Yeah, it's really weird the way. I don't know. Whatever. All right, next up we have the uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws Omnibus. They actually call this the New 52 Omnibus. This one I haven't read yet. I'm kind of scared to read it. I've heard terrible things about this run. And uh, it just got, kind of goes to show you, like, what is DC doing with their collected editions? I mean, right now this is February uh, 27th or whatever, 2019. And they've recently canceled, like, all their collected editions. And they're not, they're not really sure how they're going to move forward or whatever. The fact that there's no Batman New 52 Omnibus here kind of tells you they don't really know what they're doing. Anyway, uh, I hear bad things, but Man will actually really enjoy this run. But he is kind of like a Jason Todd fanboy, so <laughs> kind of take that with a grain of salt. This collects issue 0 through 27 of Red Hood and the Outlaws, Teen Titans 16, Batman 17, and uh, the annual. So I kind of like when it's clean like that, right? Next up, the Deathstroke, New 52 Omnibus. Uh, this and the Red Hood and the Aqu Aquaman, this all kind of came out recently. And I was just kind of eating them up right when they came out, man. I, I did knock this out. I did a recent reads on this. I thought it was an enjoyable book. 
you know, I always like them when they're quick, fun reads. I don't know. I guess that's my thing. But it was quick. It was fun. It was enjoyable. The artwork was insane. I praise the uh, author and the artist, Tony S. Daniels, for doing both for most of these issues. And I, I wasn't really aware of him before, man, but he crushed it. This collects 1 through 20, and the annuals 1 and 2, plus a sneak peek of uh, Deathstroke 1, I guess, of the next volume. So another clean Omni. Don't give me all the craziness. Just 1 through 20, psh, we're done. Deathstroke, check out my review. All right, next up we have the Flash Omnibus by Francis Manipal and Brian Bouchelado. This was actually next on my list to do a recent reads, but new stuff kind of came out that I wanted to knock out quick because people wanted to see the review to see if they should pick it up. So I haven't gotten to this yet. I know this run gets kind of uh, praised for its artwork, maybe not so much the story, but uh, if it's got good artwork, I can stick through it, you know? I definitely do want to jump into this soon because I haven't read it yet. This collects... See, when it doesn't tell you on the back, you know you're in trouble. Let's see what kind of hodgepodge we got going on here. No, I'm, I'm wrong. The Flash 0 through 25 and Annual 1 and 2. Pretty clean cut stuff. Next up, we got the Grace and Omnibus. Now, I don't think all of this is New 52. But this is basically uh, following up Nightwing's New 52 run. Shout out to my man Omar from Near Mid Condition. I had to double check with him because I haven't read this run. Uh, Manimal read it and he really liked this Grayson Super, Super Spy stuff. Grayson 1 through 20, Futures End 1, Secret Origins 8, Annuals 1 through 3, Robin War 1 and 2, Nightwing Rebirth number 1. So I think Omar was saying just that rebirth issue is the only thing that's not new 52. Oh, looks alright. Grayson. Tim Seeley, Tom King. Alright, next up we got uh, the two Harley Quinn volumes that make up her new 52 run. Amanda Connor, Jimmy uh, Palmiotti. I have not read any of these Harley Quinn books, but it does collect Harley Quinn 1 through 30, plus a lot of little tie-ins and one-shots. Um, I guess it's the only new 52 Omni that went to multiple volumes. I don't know. Harley Quinn, what are you going to do? All right, now we're getting into those like specific new 52 books. Um, I haven't jumped into... Any of these except for this Dark Side War Saga omnibus. So let's take a look at this together. This is a DC 1 million omnibus by Grant Morrison. And from what I understand, it's like some storyline that takes place a million years in the future or the year 1 million. Let's see what it says. The year is 85,271. Justice League A comes back to uh, invite the greatest heroes of the 20th century to travel to the future and take part in the celebration. Okay, so what happens is it looks like it's a bunch of one shots that were all issue one million. So Action Comics, uh, Action Comics one million, Batman Shadow of the Bat one million, um, DC one million issues one through four. So that's what it is: a one through four storyline and a bunch of one shots that are all labeled one million. You know, so, you know, I have a lot of books. Sometimes I don't know that I would ever take a look at some if I was wasn't for doing these videos. You know. All right, next up, this is the New 52 Omnibus, um, or I'm sorry, the 52 Omnibus. This was um, a weekly series that was being put out during the New 52, and they compiled it in this one Omnibus. It's collected in its entirety along with bonus material, included, uh, including sketches. It has multiple artists like Jeff Johns, Grant Morrison. For whatever reason, they went all black cover with this. Let's see how this is. Um, how these issues are labeled. You got your boy Steel. Origi originally published in single issues in 52, issues 1 through 52. I thought it was alright. I didn't hear anything great about it. But I guess uh, every week of the year they dropped an issue. They really went with that 52 theme, man. Most of the runs lasted 52 issues or less. 
All right, so there was DC 1 million. There was 52. Now, this is the DC Comics, the new 52. I think this is, yeah, the first issue from every uh, title. It actually has the Justice League wraparound cover. But yeah, this is kind of just like one of those compilation books, like the DC Rebirth Omnibus, where you get the first issue from every title, so you can kind of sample everything. Yeah, Animal Man 1, Aquaman 1, Bat Girl 1, Batman 1, all that. So, not most people's favorite type of omnibus, but it is what it is. All right, so uh, DC Comics Futures End. I remember when these issues came out, it was towards the end of the New 52. Uh, I remember because they had the DC Villains Month with the lenticular covers, and then they went ahead and did 3D lenticular moving covers or whatever with this Futures End. So this is the five years later omnibus. Contains all 41 Futures Ends, which is all like one-shots, like... Batman Futures and One, Superman Futures and One. I, I remember really liking the covers, though. I had all the single covers. Like, I used to collect stuff like that. I don't know. So, Earth 2. Then you have, you know, Justice League, Futures and. So, just all one shots. Was there a main storyline? Let me see. I don't know. It looks like all one-shots. Yeah, so all these kind of books are like compilation books. All right, next up, uh, the DC New 52 Zero Omnibus. I believe, yep, these are uh, the 55 Zero issues. I don't know if it was after issue like 12 or whatever. They published a Zero issue that kind of, I don't know if it was like a prologue or like a, yeah, to give some kind of background on the uh, on the reboot of the of the series. <clears throat> At least that's how I remembered it. Yeah, so those were all the zero issues. They were all like jumping out of the page or whatever, looking like giant size X Men one. I remember having the Batman one. Yeah, so actually, it's funny with this and the new Fifty Two Omnibus, you'll have the zero issue and then the number one issue of every book in the original titles. So, I guess you would read this kind of like reading that. All those number ones, you kind of get the little uh, origin type background issue on all these titles. All right, I referenced this book a few times. This is the DC uh, Villains Month Omnibus. And I think this was pretty big at the time, man. I like, get all these lenticular covers. A lot of them were graded CGC 10s. Uh, they were really, really cool covers. I hunted down every single one during that time just because I liked them. And they... um. They were like all point one issues, right? So, for example, I mentioned Aquaman, and it collects Justice League twenty three point one, which is the dark side issue. Justice League twenty three point two, which is the Lobo issue. I don't know if it's like two to four issues per each title that they would drop point one, point two, point three, point four. They had really cool covers, man. The Doomsday cover, like the Batman villains were dope. Bane, Penguin, Riddler, Joker. I remember Joker's daughter. So I thought it was really cool that they gave us the lenticular on the dust jacket too, man. But also another compilation book. Yeah, the, the Villains Month issues for the Aquaman Omnibus. It was like Black Manta and uh, Ocean Master. Well, just another compilation book. All right, and the last omnibus is the Justice League Dark Side War Saga omnibus, which I did read and enjoy, and I have a recent reads up on my channel, on the channel. Uh, good, fun read with good art, and it flowed well, and I really enjoyed it, man. I love that Batman... Um, is that this run? Batman and Apocalypse armor? Hellbat? No, that's something else. I don't even remember. I'd be reading so much stuff. Anyway, uh, this collects the Justice League issues 40 through 50 and a couple of one-shot tie-ins that tie the storyline together. Check my review on it. All right, guys. So that's all the Omnibus. Real quick, we'll just talk about the Absolute Editions from the New 52 run. 
The only Batman New 52 stuff that we have collected in oversized format is the Court of Owls. Greg Capullo, one of my favorite artists, actually. And I think it's like uh, the first 11 issues of this Batman run. Yeah. Batman 1 through 11. Great storyline. I mean, I would rather them do an Omni that collects like the 40 issues or whatever they release. I don't think... Did it go 52? Yeah, I think it might have went 52. Shit, give us two volumes. I, I would rather that than collect it in more absolutes. I mean, I like the format, but more of an omnibus collector. Which I, I've read that run. I used to have that in single issues, the whole run. Then we got Batman Incorporated by Grant Morrison. I still haven't read this, and I feel like I needed to read it. Needed to read it. To go, uh, to understand more of that Batman and Robin um, Omni. Yeah, because this is straight out of there. Batman is everywhere. So this collects... Issues 0 through 13 and uh, special number 1. Yeah, I have not read this yet. Batman Incorporated. This is one that I've been meaning to jump into, man. This is Jeff Johns and Jim Lee, the Absolute Justice League origin. I think it's only like 10 issues or so. Yeah, we see this this same image as we saw in one of those compilation books. Yeah, but this is uh, something that I've been meaning to just knock this out real quick, man. It looks great. <laughs> great artist, great writer. It's uh, 0 through 12. I got I to gotta knock this out, man. Damn. All right. The last uh, absolute editions are the two Wonder Woman volumes by Brian Azzarello and uh, Cliff Chiang. Chiang. Uh, they're making an omnibus that collects the same material. So that kind of has me a little bit upset because I'm like, what do I do? I have every on the bus and, uh, you know, I, I sold the Green Lantern absolute editions because they're collected in the omnibus, but I'm like, man, am I going to be able to get rid of these absolutes? I mean, who's going to want the absolutes when the omnibus is going to come out and be like 50% off cover price? Uh, I, I looked into detail on these. If you go to my every Wonder Woman omnibus release so far video, I, I, I showed the, the artwork and everything like that. But I, you know, I had them for last because of alphabetical order, but also kind of pissed me off that they're making an omnibus for this now. Um, it's crazy how we still don't have any more Batman New 52 Omnis or Absolutes, but you're getting the same material in multiple formats. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for sticking around. Uh, thank you. I forget who gave me the idea for this video, but every New 52 Omni and Absolute Edition... Let me know what you think in the comments below. Was this a helpful checklist for you guys? Um, make sure to go check out my recent reads on those books that I have read. And stay subscribed to the channel because I do plan on getting through all these things and doing reviews and breakdowns and let you know if it's worth picking up or not, at least in my opinion. Thanks for watching. Stay minty. Peace.